Hey, welcome back to another video for our car uh, application. We are in the process of building a graphical user interface enabled program. In the last video, in the last two videos, we created this beautiful interface in front of us. However, it has no data, and that's the goal for this video, is to connect the existing classes that have the car and the store and connect those classes to this form. So we need to add a new project. As you can see, a solution can have more than one project, or at least it should, you should know that. So we want to be able to, first of all, find this project on our, fi on our um, file system, and then we're going to make a copy of the existing classes and import them into this project here. So I'm right-clicking on the solution and choosing Open Folder in File Explorer. The reason I want to do that is I want to see exactly which directory our files are saved. And so let's click on the word repos, which is one folder up, and you can see the other projects that I've built in Visual Studio. Car Class Library is what we built in the first few videos. So I want to duplicate that. Is there a duplicate? There is not. So I'll choose copy and then right click and choose paste. Now I have a copy. So let's, uh, let's change this one and I'm just going to call it Car Class Library 2. Now the only reason I would make two of these is because we might make some changes to the car class library and I don't want to mess up the, uh, the console app. So even though they're identical code. Let's go to our, uh, back to our solution explorer and this time I'm going to add this new project. So right click, add existing project. And now I'm going to browse for this library number two and click open. And let's see, class library. I want just the, uh, not the console app, but the library. And we finally get to the CS project file. Okay, we should see two projects open. Good, so now we have the car and the store, as you recall from previous work. All right, so now the goal is I'm going to start adding some cars and items to the store. So uh, let's go and take a look at our graphical user interface and I'm going to focus on this button here that says create a car. Let's double click on it and that brings up the uh, code for the button click. So let's uh, erase this message box that was for testing purposes. What I'd like to do is to be able to create a new car. So if I typed in car, you notice there's no suggestions for the car class. So I'm going to just put a space and C equals new car. So this is what I'm attempting to do. Now the car class is supposed to be in this project. You can see car class is up here, but if I go back into the form one, it doesn't seem to recognize it. So we need to add an external reference. So let's hover over this thing and see what the suggestions are. It says uh, you are not found. Are you missing a, a directive? or an assembly reference, it says. Okay, so I'd like to have a, a reference for this car object. So let's go into graphical user interface, the car shop GUI, and let's choose add. And what I need is a reference. So let's choose the word reference. And now it says, uh, let's go and add some references. Now, all of this stuff here that you see in the list are for special you know, services that are built into .NET. What we want is the custom class called uh, car class library, which is under projects and inside the solution. So there's a check mark there. So that means we're going to include it in our new project. So in your case, you might be able to find a uh, quick fix below here. It looks like I already did this and removed it. So I'm going to the little screwdriver icon and choose use class library and click there. And this uh, car is now recognizable. What happened? Up here on line one, it says using car class library. So if, uh, if you have to type this in manually, you can. Otherwise, it's better to pick the automatic services. So now this will create a new car. And uh, what kind of a car do we want? Let's look back at the form. On the form, we have three properties that we could use for our new car. We have make, model, and price. So let's get those properties here. So let's go to uh, is it called txt underscore? There it is. You can see the names make and I want to get the text value out of that. So let's see it's called text and now I'm going to put in a comma for the next property which was the model and then the last one is txt price. 
Okay, so those need to have some extra help. So we need to get the text property from the control. Whatever text is in the control, whatever's in the container. Now we have another error. So can you figure out what that is? So we have make, model, and price. And it doesn't like price for some reason. Look at the hint. It says I cannot convert from string to decimal. So we need to do a conversion. Strings are what are sent from a text field. Let's do a show of potential fixes. We could uh, fix the parameter in car. Uh, those are not good fixes. What we need is a digital value. So we're going to have to do a parse. Let's say I'm going to send this thing as an integer and let's do parse. And uh, let's see if we can parse the string. So this, this looks good. Now I'm going to do a message to see what my new car is. So message box dot uh, show, and I'm going to just put in the C. And let's see, we need to do dot two string it looks like. So that way we get a string message for our, our box. Well, you might find that there's a little bit of an oddity here. We're trying to convert a integer here and send it as a decimal. So actually instead of int, I'm just going to put in the word decimal for the data type that we're trying to parse. Okay, let's try to run this and see what happens with our dialog boxes and our input forms. Hopefully we're able to make a new car. Okay, so here's our new car. Let's see, I seem to be focused on Ford Focus a lot, so let's put in a car that's worth $8,123.87. Okay, we create the car, and it does tell me that the new car has been created and the two string method's working. All right, so that's a pretty good stopping point. What we're going to do next is after we create a car, in the next video, we're going to add it to the inventory. Then we'll be able to add it to the cart, and then we'll be able to check out. So that's coming up.